Like accuracy, reliability is an important aspect of science experiments. Reliability is the degree to which a measurement or test gives consistent results each time the experiment is performed. This means a reliable experiment produces similar results each time the experiment is repeated. We can also look at the reliability of experimental results. If the results are similar to each other, then they are reliable. To help us understand reliability, let's return to our archery competition. Robin Hood and his competitor, Fluky Luke, each have three arrows to fire at their targets. As usual, Robin Hood hits the bullseye with each of his three shots. Fluky Luke takes the stage and lands his first arrow in the bullseye. Is he as perfect as Robin Hood? Unfortunately not, because both of his following shots miss the target. It seems that Fluky Luke's first shot was just luck. As we can see, Robin Hood is the more reliable archer, as he consistently hits the bullseye. Compared to Robin Hood, Fluky Luke is less reliable. This works the same way as reliability in science. The archers represent the experimental procedure that we performed, while the arrows in the target represent the experimental data we obtained. If the experimental procedure is reliable, like Robin Hood, then the results will be close to each other. However, if the experiment is unreliable, like Fluky Luke, then the results will be all over the place. A key aspect of reliability is repeatability. An experimental procedure is repeatable if the original investigator repeats the experiment and obtains similar results using the same method and equipment. This means an experiment with a high degree of repeatability will produce reliable results. Let's go back to the archery competition, where they're taking a break between rounds. A mysterious figure walks over to Fluky Luke and offers him a magical bow. It was handcrafted from the wood of the oldest elm tree in all of England. The mysterious figure tells him that arrows fired from this bow never miss their target. Fluky Luke has always dreamed of being a reliable archer like Robin Hood. He takes the magical bow to a training range and fires an arrow at the target. Success! The first arrow hits the bullseye. However, Fluky Luke wants to confirm his results. He could have hit the bullseye by chance. It is important to repeat experiments to check if their results are consistent and not just a fluke. He launches a second and third arrow. Wow! He emptied a full quiver of arrows and hit the bullseye every time. The magical bow represents a repeatable experimental procedure, as Fluky Luke achieved consistent results. That is, the magical bow produced similar results when used by the original investigator with the same method and equipment. Now imagine you are performing an experiment to find out how long it takes for a cricket ball to fall three stories. On the first trial, you find that the ball takes 1.86 seconds to reach the ground. You repeat the experiment twice and find that it takes 1.82 seconds and then 1.85 seconds. This experiment has a high degree of repeatability because the results are consistent between all three repetitions. Therefore, the results of this experiment are reliable. Let's discuss the next aspect of reliability, which is precision. Precision is a measure of how close the experimental results are to each other. But beware, when discussing experimental results, use the term precision with caution. Even though precise and accurate are synonyms in normal vocabulary, they are completely different things in science. If you remember from our previous video, accuracy is a measure of how close the experimental results are to the true value. 
On the other hand, precision is a measure of how close the experimental results are to each other. Make sure you don't confuse these. Even if experimental results are accurate, they might not be precise. To help us understand this, let's return to Too Tall Trevor from our previous video on accuracy. Too Tall Trevor is an inaccurate archer because his arrows always land above the bullseye. However, his shots are very precise because all the arrows land close to each other. His sister, almost awesome Alice, faces a different dilemma. She is quite an accurate archer as her arrows often land near the bullseye. Unfortunately, her arrows are spread out, so she is less precise than too tall Trevor. Neither sibling can compare to Robin Hood. His arrows always hit the bullseye and land close together. Therefore, Robin Hood is an accurate and precise archer. So what does precision look like in science? Let's go back to the experiment where we try to find how long it takes for a cricket ball to fall three storeys. As we can see, all the experimental results are close to each other. They only differ by 40 milliseconds. If we calculate the average time, we find that all our results are close to this average. This means our results are precise and our method is reliable. Then, the teacher comes along to inform us that the theoretical value, or the true value, for the time it takes to fall three stories is 1.42 seconds. So, unfortunately, our results are not accurate because they are higher than the true value. As you can see, we have inaccurate results that are reliable and precise. Now, another aspect of reliability is reproducibility. An experimental procedure is reproducible if a new investigator repeats the experiment and obtains similar results using the same method and equipment. A reliable experiment is one with a high degree of reproducibility. Let's revisit Fluky Luke and his magical bow. What if Fluky Luke has practiced archery so much that he is now a reliable archer like Robin Hood? If so, this means it's his skill rather than the supposed magical bow that is the cause of his perfect scores. To check if this is true, he needs another archer to test the magical bow. Fluky Luke lends the magical bow to his friend, Awful Aim Adam. Awful Aim Adam has an archery match that he wants to win. He takes his place, fires three shots, and lands all his arrows in the bullseye. Surprised at Awful Aim Adam's now perfect aim, Too Tall Trevor and all the other competitors come to try out the magical bow. Lo and behold, everyone is hitting bullseyes with every arrow. Since all the competitors got the same results, we can conclude that arrows fired from the magical bow always hit the bullseye, regardless of the archer. It really is magic. But as soon as they realise this, they snap the bow in half because no person should have all that power. Let's go back to the falling cricket ball experiment. Your classmate, Jane, performs the experiment just like you using the same method and equipment. These are her results. Even though her results are slightly different to yours, we can see that they agree with each other. And when we calculate the average time to reach the ground, we find they are almost identical. Since Jane's results were consistent with your findings, the experimental procedure is reproducible. Therefore, the experiment is reliable even though it produces inaccurate results. Let's revise what we've discussed in this video. Reliability is the degree to which a measurement or test gives consistent results each time the experiment is performed. We can check if the results of an experiment are reliable by looking at how close the results are to each other. 
a reliable experiment is one with high degrees of repeatability and reproducibility. An experimental procedure is repeatable if the original investigator repeats the experiment and obtains similar results using the same method and equipment. An experimental procedure is reproducible if a new investigator repeats the experiment and obtains similar results using the same method and equipment. Precision is a measure of how close the experimental results are to each other. This is different to accuracy, which is a measure of how close the experimental results are to the true value. We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. For more easy lessons on physics, check out our second video on reliability.